regresar a la victoria en casa, usted debutando, ¿cómo se siente en este momento? Contento, contento por la victoria porque... Contento por los chicos, contento por los jugadores. Creo que han trabajado mucho, que han absorbido mucha información y, y se han esforzado al máximo. Así que estoy más contento por los jugadores que por cualquier otra cosa. Así que ahora entender que, que hay que seguir trabajando, que todavía hay que mejorar muchas cosas. Y mira, en tres días estamos jugando otra vez. Así que hay que pasar la página rápidamente. Coach, la decisión de jugar a flot, pero más defensivo el día de hoy, especialmente después de que marcó gol la semana pasada. ¿Qué, qué fue esa decisión? Eh, conozco los equipos de Wilmer bastante bien, he tenido la fortuna de, de enfrentarlo bastantes veces y es un entrenador que respeto y admiro muchísimo. Eh, quería tener la pelota hoy más, quería tratar de tener la pelota y poner a Flot en la línea de tres, de tres centrales, sabía que nos iba a dar un poquito más de sostenimiento de pelota, al igual que Luisma, que Seijas en, en el doble pivote de, de, de la mitad de la cancha nos iba a dar más sostenimiento de pelota, entonces quería tener un poco la pelota en casa para, para crear espacios y después poder at atacar esos espacios. Ahora, ¿tú sabemos el status de Flot? Not yet, not yet, but um, but we'll check. Coach, can you talk about the pattern of play that you want to implement and how you feel about that after tonight's game? I want to play. I want to move the ball quickly. I want to make sure that our goalkeeper, defenders, they, they're comfortable with the ball and they absorb pressure. If they absorb pressure, we'll create gaps and we we'll create spaces in the lines that we could play through. Making mistakes is part of the process. This is a process and, and, and we have to make sure that it will take time and mistakes are part of it. And I'm, I'm willing to, to live with those mistakes. And I'm going to protect the group and the players until the last second because um, I want them to play a certain way and they believe in it and they're trying. So as long as they do that, I'll stand in front of the bullets for them. Just how big was this win for you going forward? Oh, it's right. We talked about it the other day. We spoke about the importance of, um, of tonight's game. It was pretty much a final. We, we had a very good conversation with the players uh, the last two days. Uh, before I, we walked on the field today, we had another good conversation in which, um, I mean, we, we, we want to make sure that the boys understand that moving forward, we, we have a, every game is a final. And that's what it was tonight. And, and for moments, again, I see very good sparks. I see sparks of where, where the, the tactical awareness keeps developing, where the, um, the tactical understanding is, um, is there as well. And, um, and I'm happy, I'm, I'm happy to see those things. And like you said, man, tonight was massive. Tonight was massive, but we can't we can get too happy about it and then forget about the other final that we got in three days. Profe, usted trajo a Luis Manuel Seijas y hoy en su debut le responde con dos goles. ¿Cómo se siente acerca de eso? Feliz, orgulloso, eh, muy contento por él porque sé lo, lo trabajador y lo profesional que es. Y cada vez que le pueda ir bien, eh, no es casualidad, se, se lo merece y se lo ha ganado. Así que me pongo muy, muy contento por él. Um, it seemed like the last five or ten minutes you were you were stressed on the sideline. What oh, went through your mind when you heard that final whistle? Um, yes, I think. Yeah, I mean, we could have we could have managed the game um, way way better than than what we did. But again, we go back to this is a process and mistakes and uh, and, um, and 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 them understanding. Yeah, I mean, the different moments of the game and game management is one of them. If, if you're winning the game, maybe I wanted them to keep the ball a bit longer than, than we have. We didn't have to be so vertical at times. We could have um, keep the ball and, and let the, the let the clock run. And these are things that only come when, when you watch video, when you analyze what happens, and then you work on them. And listen, we, what we had, five training sessions together only, so little by little, um, it will keep getting better and better. I know he just asked you in Spanish, but uh, Luis is, not always been the easiest season for him. How happy are you to, to see him get two goals today? I'm so happy for him. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of him. I, I was just telling him that at the end of the day, it's, I'm also not, not surprised. And uh, it's not a coincidence for him either. If, if he can be every success he gets, I'm, I'm going to be very happy because I know him since we were, what, 15 years old. And everything he's gotten, um, he's worked for it and he's earned it. He is a player that nobody has ever given him anything for free. And the first day that I came over here, I, I told him that I was not going to give him absolutely anything for free. And then he said, yes, I, that's what I want. And look what he did today. So I'm very happy for him. Because you conceded that goal just before the break. What were your words to the boys at halftime? That I believe in them, that I still want them to play, that I want to play through lines, that I want to absorb pressure, that I'm going to support them, that, um, that they just have to play. And I told them not to be afraid of, of success. It's like when we got nothing to lose, 
Um, the players are playing well. There's no pressure. You see them playing through lines again for 19 minutes. Same like El Paso for 25 minutes. We were good, but then we score the goal and then you have success. Now you can see success and you're saying now we're winning. Now all of a sudden I have a lot to lose and I see the guys, I mean, the confidence levels again, you know, I, I don't want that. I don't want them to be afraid of success. We're going to support them. We're going to make sure that we back them up. And that's what we're here. That's what we're here for. They, they have to follow and understand the game plan. We want them to follow it. And as long as they do, we'll protect them as much as we can until the last second. What did you see on the goal between Ben and James there? Um, again, it's, it's, it's part of the process. It's part of the process that we've only had five training sessions together and we're implementing and doing things that take time in order to play the way we want to play. Versus El Paso, we did it a lot of times. Even today, we did it a lot of times. It was successful. We failed. A mistake is part of the process. And then you build from it. We watch video. And the most important thing from it is that we still won. We got three points. And we can actually learn from a mistake that happened tonight that didn't cost us more points. Outside of that, you guys mostly prevented big chances, at least until the last five, ten minutes there. Why was the defense so successful for 85 minutes, really? Because these guys have too much heart. Their heart just it doesn't fit in their chest. These guys understand the, the organization that we represent. They understand the fan base as it's over here. And they're willing to, to do whatever it takes to, to revert the situation and, and change it. So we'll take it one, one game at a time. And tonight, tonight we go happy. We jump on the ice baths, we rest. And then when I get to the hotel, I start watching Colorado. Speaking of the... You, uh, you guys had a lot of success in the first half, especially going down the left-hand side. Was that part of your game plan going into the game tonight? We want to attack with full width on both sides, with Darnell or Jai. I want both of them to be uh, as offensive-minded as possible, and not necessarily we focus on one side or the other. So we want to have the, I mean, enough or create chances in, in both, both, both ends of the field. You mentioned the fan base. Your first time back here since last season. What was it like to be here in front of the fans? It was unbelievable. When it was unbelievable. It was good. I'm, I'm happy to be back. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, everybody knows it. It was, it was a very turbulent week for me. It has been not just for me, but also for my family that was probably watching and suffering and, and you know what I mean from home. So it was, it was unbelievable, man. I told the boys today about the importance of, of giving back, about the importance of. When you have a fan base like this, we ha when you have an organization like this that is supporting you, uh, professional athletes all around the world, they could go to places and they take, take, take. But we have to find a way to give back. And tonight, we were able to give back. We were able to give back to the fan base that came tonight. We were able to give back to, to the people that drove to El Paso a few, a few days ago and were there. We were able to give back to the kids that came out today. And I mean, they're, they're the future of, of Phoenix Rising. So tonight we gave back. I'm, I'm happy. But I need to get to the hotel to watch Colorado. The coach, perdón, pero me, no me van a perdonar si no le pregunto a usted cualquier mensaje directo para los bandidos, los que viajaron y los que recibieron aquí el día de hoy. Que estamos juntos, eh? que vamos a muerte siempre, que nos vamos a apoyar los unos a los otros y tenemos que, que seguir empujando siempre unidos. Esto al final del día, eh, entrenadores, jugadores, presidentes, dueños pueden ir y venir. Los bandidos no se van a ir a ningún lado, siempre van a estar ahí. Así que este club es de ellos y nosotros vamos a representar este club a muerte hasta el último día de la mejor manera que podamos.